We're here with Scott from Simplivity, and for those who are actually IT administrators at the moment who might not have heard of the company, we're going to go over the history and the overview of this company who actually are doing something innovative in the service space by actually using hardware acceleration to improve IT networks, IT administration, and make life easier for all of us involved with maintaining service. So I'll hand it over to Scott. Thank you. So Simplivity, as an organization was founded in 2009, uh, so we're coming up to our, our fifth year of existence. And for much of uh, 48 months of our initial uh, life cycle, we were actually in hardcore development and developing a specific piece of IP, which is known as the OmniStack Accelerator Card. And that forms the, I guess, the heart of the, uh, of the intellectual property that really has changed and created a revolution in, uh, in data center IT infrastructure. The, uh, the humble mission of SimpliVity is to simplify IT infrastructure and in doing so significantly reduce the total cost of ownership of running that infrastructure. If you think back to legacy environments, so how we were able to, to put together traditional enterprise class data centers, you would see anywhere between 8 to 12 different appliances that would sit within the data center today and they're represented in a, in a large stack but a complicated stack and they would be everything from think servers, uh, storage switching, shared storage infrastructure. Uh, you then as you started to think about disaster recovery, business continuity, you would then see backup appliances, so maybe some dedupe uh, backup and archive appliances, WAN optimization appliances, um, independent backup software. Uh, you may see some caching technologies emerging as performance started to, to degrade over time. Uh, as we saw the introduction of cloud, you then see cloud appliances, so cloud gateways coming into the environment. So this massive complexity of, of eight to 12 different disparate technologies, each with their own locked away resources, so CPU and memory, each with their own graphical user interface, which you need to learn, understand for you know, implementation, uh, installation and optimization over time. And what this has created is this massive amount of complexity in the data center. Uh, in upwards of IDC talk about upwards of 80% of data center time is spent on just keeping and maintaining status quo and very little time, in fact less than 20% on innovation. What SimpliVity brings to the table is a 2U x86 based building block. We've assimilated all of that functionality of those preceding 8 to 12 different appliances that I talked about into a standardized uh, 2U building block. And so all of those preceding functions, so we have a, an OmniStack accelerator card that sits inside our OmniCube. And with that, we're, elect, we're able to dedupe, compress and optimize data once and forever for the lifetime of that data within the Federation. So anywhere within your wide area network. And that has a significant impact for your business on reducing overall complexity, minimizing the physical amount of infrastructure that you need to manage, and then from a management point, we defer that up to the hypervisor. And so from a graphical user inter interface, we actually use your standard interface using vCenter to now manage your entire infrastructure and operations, saving you a significant amount of money and operational costs. Where did the idea for SimpliVity come from? Was it some, let's say, you know, grievous, not grievous, some employees of traditional large companies that came together, look, we can do something better? Or was it a startup from the garage or? Yeah, so our, our How founder, was it incubated? Yeah, our founder, Deron Kempel, uh, had a preceding uh, startup that he'd uh, incubated and it was in some of the early days of, of deduplication technology. So, you know, the early days of dedupe. That company was purchased by IBM back in 2008. And, uh, and as he was going through that process of, of manoeuvring out of uh, that preceding company, we were really thinking about the next generation of, you know, so what... You know, dedupe as a technology, extremely CPU intensive, you know, creates a massive amount of tax on the underlying infrastructure. And I think the overriding uh, question in his mind was if we could find a way to reduce the amount of IO that was actually circul circulating through uh, you know, traditional servers, then we would be on to you know, a, a really piece of key technology or a, or a next generation. And that really was the birth of, of SimpliVity in 2009. And, uh, and he went out to the market and started uh, hiring some, some pretty smart guys that now form the core of our business. We're in excess of 500 uh, people globally now uh, and we'll be continuing to grow. We expect to have over a thousand people by the end of, uh, end of 2015. So the OmniCube is your the heart of the company? So the OmniStack Accelerator Card, 
and our and our software okay. stack that sits yep. around that really forms the the core of the IP. The delivery mechanism, so we OEM a piece of technology, so we OEM an x86 server, which forms the, the chassis or the, the 2U building block in the, and we call that an Omnicube. Uh, we also have a, a partnership that we've established with Cisco. So you can use their C240, M3 and M4 rack mount servers, and we will supply the uh, OmniStack accelerator kit, which would be the card plus our software that would get integrated into that. So is the long-term goal of the company to keep selling these, you know, reference OmniCubes, or is the long-term goal to partner with as many OEMs as possible, for example, as you said, Cisco? Yeah, so look, I think the the reality of the technology is we are not limited to uh, to not be able to, to certify technologies. Right now in our current life cycle, you know, we're spending most of our engineering effort on additional features and functions and hardening for, for users. Uh, the, the process to actually certify a piece of technology, so a, a platform, is in excess of four to six months. And so if I had four to six months to spend today, I'd be putting it towards feature, feature development, not necessarily certifying platforms. But the technology itself, it's a PCI e-based technology, so it doesn't preclude us from going out and looking at other platforms to certify over time. Other, other accelerator companies such as Fusion IO who insist that they sell an accelerator, not an SSD, they've gone after the channel market, you know, buy their card, stick it in any server you can. Mm-hmm. And so isn't it, wouldn't that for like every ad, IT administrator has their own preference for servers? Some might not want your server, some might not want Cisco. Wouldn't it like the... Well, obviously, we can't talk about Redmond, wouldn't there? Obviously, the ideal goal would be just to sell the card and to certify it for different servers and to have the software with it. And then IT administrators, they can buy this accelerator just like they do for a GPU or a Fusion, Fusion IO kind of stick in the servers and gain the benefits of your IP. So, look, I, I can't speak for what might happen in the future, but the reason why we are delivering the, the technology in the format that we are today, this is a data center class technology, right? So... There is a reliance and a, and a necessity to have, you know, clearly, you know, business continuity, disaster recovery. These are your core assets that are going onto these technologies. We spend a lot of time in the certification process of ensuring that what we are delivering will deliver that high availability, data efficiency, you know, extreme performance for the for the platforms that you're providing. So I think you know, right now the technology to gain the benefits, and there are significant benefits of employing the SimpliVity technology to massively save. We're talking you know, in excess of 300% TCO savings. So what does that mean? A 75% reduction in the total cost of running your operation from traditional means. And so if the if the way to get to that end result is by using those two two choices of platform, that's a it's an easier way to get to that. To what, would that be, what would be the key highlight points of somebody using your technology over a legacy traditional server net, slash network slash storage technology? So a couple the, of main points. So yeah, what so the main benefits? Three three fundamental um, benefits. So cycle time. So your ability to maneuver and and activate uh, technology in your environment faster than ever before. So meet the business requirement and the agility of meeting the your business requirements on a on an as is basis. Um, the ease of management, so now having a true single pane of management, you hear that, that term used often, but now advocating all of the underlying complexity of running your infrastructure, being able to manage that usually with a single right click uh, at your VM level within the data center is so ease of management. And then the true uh, value of, of hyperconvergence is take away physical rack space, power heat cooling, and reduce the physical number of elements in your data center that you've had to manage previously. So, as we said, one of the key parts of your technology, other than software, is your accelerator card. What exactly does the accelerator card do, and how does it do it? So, I can't tell you how it does it, but I know it actually does. Uh, so, the OmniStack accelerator card from SimpliVity allows you to, in real time, inline, dedupe, compress, and optimize your data inline anywhere through your entire federation once for the life cycle of your of your uh, your data. All right, so significant amount of physical reduction in the amount of, of stored blocks that you have to store, but also inbuilt capability for backup, archive, WAN optimization because of that, that dedupe, compress, and optimize capability. We were talking earlier in your earlier presentation about how your system focuses on storing only the optimized data and the only the optimized data trans, transfers across your network and storage, and that's never uh, reconstituted. Mm-hmm. So does that all your building blocks in the network have to have the accelerator card because you talked about expanding the storage of 
uh, using com you, you recycling your commodity existing systems to work in conjunction with your new technology. So does all, th those don't have an accelerator cut. How do they benefit? Sure. So for each data center that you want to share data within, you would have to have a quantity of OmniStack or OmniCube technologies. Uh, which have that OmniStack Accelerator card built into it. So that becomes the core foundation of your data center, either in production, DR, or any of your remote sites. If you had legacy servers that you wanted to, to plug into that, we can actually expose the underlying data store, so that efficient, dedupe, compressed, and optimized data store to existing legacy servers, should you want to uh, maintain that. Uh, so data. in theory, let's say, for example, you have one site, you can have, say, for example, five of your Omni cubes, and you can have, say, 20 legacy servers, and you will still take care, to still have the full uh, effectiveness and efficiency of your technology. So there is a best practice that, yeah, uh, sure, that you would need to maintain. But so, that's just, a, you know, just an example. Yeah, yeah, so you would have to need it. There would be a quantity of Omni stack uh, or Omni cubes that you would need to, to be able to run uh, all of those servers in, in, the, uh, in the same system. Okay. Thank you, Scott.